Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a great day. We're going to go over the golf preview. Golf, golf, golfy, golf, 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 golf. If you guys don't like golf, then f you. All right, man, I'm out of here. Sleepy's going to take over. Bye. Yeah, let's go. Golf back, boys. Back, 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 back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing our Golf Spring Summer 2019 preview. It has been quite some time since I've done any golf related content. I did do the Tyler the Creator video the other day, but other than that, it's probably been a year or more since we have even talked about golf on this channel. I know a lot of you guys are interested in the Supreme stuff, Supreme previews, pickup videos, all that. If you guys are not familiar with golf or don't cop too much golf or just don't care about it that much. Stick around for the video. Who knows? You guys might see a couple pieces you like and uh, I can maybe put you on to something new and exciting because some of these pieces are A1. Now, I did do this video yesterday with Isaac when I went to record it this morning. I don't know what happened to 80% of the footage. A fat chunk where we were talking about a majority of the items is just gone and not there. Isaac, I'm sorry, homie. Don't trip though. The next couple days we'll have you in a couple videos. I'll leave Isaac tagged right here and in the description. You guys can go check him out. He's been in multiple of my videos videos before and he will be in some future ones this week. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys go to Instagram. Check me out, Leroy Destroy today. I'm going to post a ghastly photo that has something to do with golf in this preview. So make sure you guys go check me out. I also put a poll there yesterday, asked if you guys wanted to watch some golf videos. You guys said yes. So here they are. First one, golf preview. Let's get it. Now, there's way too many items for me to go one by one. So I just took my favorite items from each category. I will put them on the screen similar to my surprise previews, tell you guys my opinions, why I like it, whoop de whoop and we'll keep it pushing on to the next. Before we get right into the preview, I do want to do a little golf collection video. I don't have too much stuff. I do have a bunch of tees, some accessories, some jackets, shoes, and stuff like that. If you guys want to see a golf collection video, show some love to this video, drop some likes, leave some comments, and uh, if we get enough love or I feel like we got enough love, I will be more than happy to do the collection video for you guys uh, tomorrow or the day after. This first little section that I want to talk about is this flame stuff, this camping stuff, this outdoor stuff that has been included in this 2019 preview. Last year at Camp Flognaut 2018, this was a super VIP package. These tickets cost 700 or 800 bucks and you got all of this camping stuff. And then a year later, Tyler's dropping it online. I feel like that's low-key kind of scamish. People paid a lot of money and did a lot of extra things to get those tickets to be able to get those items. They were exclusively for VIP people only. And then here we go a year later, he's dropping it to the general public. I feel like that's kind of a slap in the face to the people who bought VIP tickets. Don't get me wrong, the items are extremely sick. I have the chair right here, the backpack upstairs, the sleeping bag and the tent are cool as well. Uh, it just kind of sucks for those who went out of their way to pay that much money uh, to make sure that they were the only ones with these items. But these are dropping this spring, summer and uh, to the general public. While we're on accessories, we will just keep going with those. The first item that we are going to look at is this tote bag right here, this overnight bag. Now, this cheetah print is in a lot of the preview. I'm telling you guys right now, this is vintage vibes for show. This thing reminds me of 2011, 12, 13 Tyler. He's done a lot of leopard back in the day, especially a lot of different colored leopard, but you don't see it too much anymore with the golf LaFleur and the newer golf stuff that he's doing. This tote bag, overnight bag, pool bag, whatever it is, is extremely cool. You got this green leopard, you got blue hints to it, and then an orange box on it. Uh, I'm going to be acquiring this bag for sure. Next is a leopard skateboard. I kind of wish that he would have threw a golf logo on this somewhere or script golf or something, but this is a little bit more of a digi leopard print. On the other pieces, you can't really tell as much. This one's a little bit more blown up and it definitely looks like it's a blurred leopard or digi leopard, but regardless, this is a cruiser deck. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. There's a couple pairs of sunglasses. Here's a Kelly green one right here. They have pink, they have brown, they have red, a bunch of different colors. I really like these Kelly green 
ones. I probably will not buy them. I don't wear too many sunglasses. It does look like they are modeled after the cloud goggles. Kelly green is a really nice color. I wanted to include them in the preview. Next is a neck pillow right here. Some of you guys might be familiar with this print from the wall in the studio. This is where I got the idea to do that wall. Tyler has done a button up pants, a hat, multiple other items with this polka dot print on it. This spring summer, we're getting a neck pillow right here. I'll probably buy the neck pillow just because I like the print. I don't really travel much or use a neck pillow at all, uh, but I'll probably have it chilling, maybe put it around uh, Cherry Bomb Doll's neck there. And uh, regardless, I love this print and I feel like he's touching on some of these older prints to please the older audience or the people who have been around for golf uh, for longer than a couple years. Last accessory I want to talk about is the dog leash and the dog collar. Now these things are so cool. Supreme has rumored to drop a dog leash the past couple seasons. It has not happened yet. Tyler is extremely smart for doing this. It looks like it's 3M printed on the collar and the leash because it looks like a dark silver color or dark silver letters. Either color is cool with me. I like the yellow and I like the blue. When these drop, I will probably acquire one of each. I don't know, put it around my cat or maybe next time I get a dog. Juno walks without a leash, so I don't really need a leash with Juno, the dog that I have right now, but maybe when I get a new one, uh, these things are so cool and I think something that people can get a lot of use out of. All right, guys, let's zoom through these tops real quick or these outer pieces. Here's this anorak we have right here, again, with the leopard print. If you guys have been around for golf for some years, you guys will know what I'm saying with the nostalgia feeling. This looks like something Tyler would have dropped six, seven, or eight years ago. I will not acquire for myself, but I do like looking at it and I'm glad that he's doing some stuff, uh, you know, more towards his roots. Now, here's a knit sweater that looks extremely nice. It has a big golf the floor flower on the front, maybe more of like a hand-drawn one. It says golf in script writing down under the flower. I believe that there's only one color in this banana or this yellow colorway, uh, but this knit looks extremely nice and might even be something that I am going to acquire. Now, something I'm not going to acquire, but I do like to look at is this sweater vest right here. It has two golf the floor flowers on it, and it is a sleeveless vest. I cannot rock anything like this. I would not even try to rock this, but this is definitely some tea swag, and those kind of people who can pull that kind of stuff off, man, this is it right here. On the front, you have two flowers. On the back, you have a flower. This thing is so nice. I just want to buy this and then find somebody that I know can wear it and then let them wear it and then just watch them wear it. This piece is so sick, dude, and something that I wish that I could wear. Going along with the tops, one of the more popular items out of this entire lookbook is this cherry tomato rayon shirt right here. It comes in two colors. Here's a blue one and here is a yellow one right here. So you might get the cherry rayon vibes that Supreme just dropped. These are actually cherry tomatoes that are still on the vine all over this shirt. This thing is so gas, dude. My favorite one is the yellow one right here. You got the red popping off the yellow. I think it looks extremely good, but the blue one looks very good as well. I've seen a lot of people talking about this. Anybody that I've talked to about the preview has mentioned this rayon. This will be one of the more popular items from this spring summer drop. I saw Tyler wearing this in his story the other day. It looks beautiful on his chocolate skin and uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful shirt. All right, guys, let's move on to bottoms. And of course, we have the flame shorts right here. Again, this is one of the more popular items out of the entire lookbook, if not the most popular item, along with the shoes that I'll show you guys in a little while. These are the flame shorts. Now, these look like just some cotton shorts. A lot of people are wondering if they're swim trunks, what kind of material they're going to be. If I had to guess, they would just be some thin cotton, regular lounge shorts, something comparable to Piquet shorts that Supreme has dropped. Nothing too crazy and heavy, something more light for the summertime, but regardless, these things are going to slap, especially in this blue colorway. Some of you guys watching might be familiar with this print from the ceiling in the studio. This is exactly where I got the print. Tyler's done a puffer jacket, a short sleeve shirt, boxers, socks, many other things in this flame print, and this is a staple print uh, for when Tyler does things. People go crazy over this flame print. These shorts are so awesome. I cannot wait to cop these. They are also in an inverted color right here which is mainly a brown color. It's got a little bit of blue and red to it as well. If I somehow take an L on the blue ones, I would settle for the brown ones, uh, but the blue and yellow flames are 100% my first pick. A1, I cannot wait to cop those shorts, and I know a million other people cannot wait as well. Next section on the bottom is these Golf LaFleur pants right here. Now, these were in the lookbook, like the video lookbook that he did, but these are not in the preview. These are a denim pair of pants. You guys can see that there is Golf LaFleur flowers placed all over these. So me and the homies were discussing, wondering what's going to happen with these pants. Are they going to drop?
drop are they not? These things look so sick. They remind me of the FTP denim, just a light wash denim. And then you have darker navy or darker blue graphics placed all over the pants. These things look so sick. Dude's got them cuffed with some Converse on. If these things drop, these will slap for sure. But I'm not sure if they will because again, they are not included in the preview, only in the lookbook. These are Golf LaFleur denim pants. So fire. All right, guys, we're going to get into some t-shirts right here. First, we have a Golf LaFleur tee right here or a little flower tee. It comes in white, cream, and blue. And again, you got like that digitized look to it. Tyler seems to be doing that with the leopard and the flowers on multiple pieces. If you zoom in, it almost looks like it's digi or some kind of like blur print. You have the red flower on the white t-shirt, which looks fairly good. You have a brown flower on the cream shirt and then a blue flower on the blue shirt. I'm not sure which color I'm going to go after, but I probably will be acquiring one of these t-shirts. Next t-shirt is the logo golf t-shirt. This thing is so sick for those who have been around for some time. This probably hits home with you guys. It says golf across the front of this t-shirt. That's it. But these are in the same letters as the Goblin album. Again, this looks like a t-shirt that Tyler would have dropped eight years ago. I'm happy that he's dropping it now. Don't get me wrong. I love this yellow one right here with this blue writing on it. You also have a tan one with blue writing and a white one with red. If I go to the store and camp, I'm probably going to end up buying all three of these Goblin logo tees. These things are so fire. Next, we have some airbrush t-shirts right here or some fruit tees, whatever you guys want to call them. The first one's a white one and it has some raspberries on it. You guys can see it has that airbrush look to it and then it says golf wing up at the top. I kind of don't like the golf wing script airbrush writing. I do like the airbrush fruit, but just not so much the writing. If he would have kept it simple with some typewriter font or some regular logo font, I feel like that would have went better for this tee. But all around, I do like the t-shirt and then I like the ones with the blueberries on them the most. There's an orange one with blueberries and there's a black one with blueberries on it as well. My favorite one's probably this orange one right here. You guys can see it's got some green leaves, some blueberries, and then it says golf wing at the top. Such a fire shirt and uh, one I will be acquiring for sure. All right, guys, to finish it off, we will go down memory lane with these golf camp hats right here. These are the only two camp hats that are dropping this golf season. Again, they look like camps that would have dropped eight years ago. These things are so sick. You got the green leopard right here. It's got some orange in it and a orange golf box on the front. You got the white leopard or the snow leopard with the blue. Both of these camps look pretty cool. I know golf camps run a little bit deeper, so they don't really fit my head. So I probably will not acquire. But again, these things are sick. I feel like Tyler's doing some of the flame stuff, some of the polka dot stuff, some of the leopard stuff, some of the cheetah stuff to satisfy or make happy his older customers and people who have been around for some time. Don't get me wrong, dude. I love the golf the floor stuff. I love the flowers. I love all that kind of stuff. But there is some things that he does that brings me back to the times when I was really fully indulged and it makes me happy, dude. So overall, I think the lookbook looks very, very good. I want you guys to go to golfwing.com and check it out for yourself. There is a bunch of good items. And that is it. If you guys made it to the end, thank you guys very much, man. You guys know the deal. Leave some comments down below. Anything pertaining to this golf preview or golf in general, I would love to hear how you guys are feeling, some pieces that you guys like, what you're feeling, what you're not. Anything pertaining to this golf preview, leave it in the comments below. I will be sure to get back to as many of you guys as I possibly can. Don't forget to drop some likes while you're down there and uh, we will see you guys on the next go around, all right? I appreciate everybody who tuned in, made it to the end. Make sure you guys go to Instagram right now, Leroy Destroy. The picture I'm posting today is super gas. I want you guys all to see it. Go show some love. We'll see you on the flip side. Sleepy, I'm out of here. Doses, pace. I'm editing this video and I forgot to talk about the Converse. Yo, how stupid am I? Dude, if these Converse drop or when these Converse drop, it is going to be a wrap, dude. I'm not really a huge fan of the LaFleurs or the shoes that Tyler has done with Converse, but this will be my favorite pair of shoes that Tyler has probably ever done. And I'm sure a lot of your guys is as well. I don't want to keep you guys. I just wanted to include the shoes, these flame Converse. Stupid gas. Can't wait for these to drop. So f***ing sick. <laughs>